Hello everyone, I am Ki Abhiram, Lakshma Research student. So today I am going to show you some NCRT conversions uh, based on the topic amines. So the uh, first reaction goes like you have to convert nitrobenzene to benzoic acid. So we have given us nitrobenzene conversion of conversion of nitrobenzene to benzoic acid. Nitrobenzene to benzoic acid. So how do we convert this? First you have to take nitrobenzene. This is nitrobenzene. On this nitrobenzene we will use H2 palladium ethanol. This will give us aniline. This is aniline. Yes. On this now we treat with HNO2. By treating with HNO2 we get benzene diazonium chloride yes on treating benzene diazonium chloride with CuCN or KCN, HCN anything we get benzene and CNA on this if we treat with H3O plus our final product is benzoic acid what did we do here we first took nitrobenzene we treated it with uh, H2Y palladium plus ethanol on this uh, we got aniline we treated aniline with HNO2 which gave us benzene diazonium chloride on treating benzene diazonium chloride with CUCN or KCN, HC anything we got benzonitrile and this benzonitrile treat by treating with H3O plus we got COOH that is uh, benzene and COOH that is benzoic acid let's go for the second conversion it says that we have to convert benzene to metabromophenol how do we convert this so which is it says benzene to metabromophenol yes metabromophenol so how do we convert first we take benzene okay we took benzene now let's do nitration how do we do it use HNO3 by H2SO4 we get nitrobenzene simple okay we got nitrobenzene let's do brumination now then we get nitrobenzene as well as bromine in the meta place meta bromo nitrobenzene on this if we treat with 10 by HCl we get aniline and bromine is same in the meta place it's safe it's not going anywhere if we treat this with HNO2 by uh, 0 to 5 degrees Celsius Ouch, excuse me so this gives us benzene diazonium chloride as well as bromine in the meta place as it is yes and the final step that is dilute, H2, dilute H2SO4 and heating we get our final product that is metabromophenol we took benzene, we did nitration, so we get nitrobenzene and treating nitrobenzene with bromine uh, we got and, um, nitrobenzene as well as bromine in the meta place if we treat this with 10 and 10 by HCl we get uh, aniline and bromine in the meta place by treating this with HNO2 in 0 to 5 degrees Celsius we got benzene diazonium to red bromine in the meta place as well as and we use dilute H2SO4 by heating we get metabromophenol let's go for a third reaction that says we have to convert benzoic acid to aniline. How do we convert this? So it says that we have to convert benzoic acid, yes, to oh sorry, benzoic acid to uh, aniline, yes. How do we convert this? So let's take first benzoic acid. Simple. Now what should we do that so we get this as aniline as the final product? Let's take SOCl2 which gives us benzoyl chloride okay this is benzoyl chloride okay uh, let's treat with this ammonia let's take ammonia treating with this ammonia what do we get benzene acid is and CONH2 that is benzamide okay C double bond O and H2 now treating this with Br2 by NaOH yes you are right that is Hoffman bromamide degradation okay our final product is aniline 
Yes. Okay. We took benzoic acid treated with SOCl2. We got benzoyl chloride by treating with ammonia. Benzoyl chloride gives us uh, CONH2 that is okay that is uh, benzamide. And after this half pentobromide deviation, we got aniline. Simple. Next, let's go for the next reaction that says conversion of aniline to 2, 4, 6 tribromofluorobenzene. Okay, a big name. Fourth one that is uh, uh, aniline to 2, 4, 6 tribromofluorobenzene. Yes. How do we convert? First, let's take aniline. Yes, we took Andy. Now, what should we do? We'll take Br by H2. Okay, this gives us 2, 4, 6 tribromo aniline. Yes, we got it. Now, take NaNO2 by HCl. Can you do it? Yes, we can do it. No problem. This gives us. Benzene, diazonium chloride, and 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 bromine in the two comma four comma six places as it is. No change, no running anywhere. Now let's treat this with BF four. What does it give it? We get the same, but Cl is replaced by N two BF. Okay, BF four. Yes, bromine as it is. No changes in the bromine. And by treating Heating this, we lose N2 as well as BF3 because one fluorine is needed for bromofluorobenzene. So the final product that we get is fluorine in the top and bromine in the ortho para and the sixth place. This is our 2 comma 4 comma 6 tri bromofluorobenzene. Ah, uh, what a big name, man. Okay, so we are coming. Let's go for the fifth reaction. That says conversion of benzyl chloride to 2 phenyl ethanamine. Okay, let's write it down. Conversion of benzyl chloride. Okay, benzyl chloride to 2 phenyl ethanamine. 2 phenyl ethanamine. How do we convert? First take benzyl chloride. Okay. We took benzyl chloride. Now we convert this okay by using a excuse me ethanolic NACN. In this NACL gets out, we get our product that is CH2CN. Okay, this is phenyl ethyl nitrile. Now, if we treat this in the presence of H2 by and I, we get our final product that is CH2, CH2, NH2. This is 2 phenyl ethanamine. How do we say it? Number 1, number 2. Numbering goes from here 1, 2. Okay, this is the other thing. So we get 2 phenyl ethanamine. Okay, how did we get this? At a glance again. So we took benzyl chloride, treating it with ethanolic NaCN, NaCl gets out, we get CH2CN on the top of benzene. Now treating with this H2 by Ni, we get 2 phenyl ethanamine. Simple reaction. Let's go for the next one that says conversion of chlorobenzene to parachloroaniline. Conversion of chlorobenzene to para chloroaniline para chloroaniline okay first take chlorobenzene simple this is chlorobenzene benzene and chlorine on the top now convert this by using nitration simple HNO3 by H2SO4 that gives us nitrobenzene first nitro and Cl is as it is this is Para, oh, I'm sorry, this is para, para chloronitrobenzene and we get another product that is ortho, clo, ortho, nitro, ortho chloronitrobenzene. This is, sorry, this is ortho chloronitrobenzene. We get two products, but this is not the complete reaction. Now we'll use this, this part that is 
Parachloronitrobenzene because we need parachloroaniline. Take the product, this compound. Parachloronitrobenzene. Now convert this using H2 and palladium. Okay, H2 and palladium. Our final product is NH2 on the para side and chlor parachloroaniline. Simple reaction. I think you got it. Chlorobenzene, we write it, we did nitration, we get two products that is parachlorobenzene and orthochlorobenzene. We took parachlorobenzene and did H2 by palladium that gives us parachloroaniline NH2. Okay, next reaction, let's go. Next reaction says that you have to convert aniline to para bromoaniline. Aniline to para bromoaniline. I think you have got this reaction. I'll write it again for you. Aniline to para bromoaniline. Aniline, para, bromo, aniline. Okay. First take aniline. Aniline, we took it aniline. After this, convert this by using CH3COCl. What do we get? We get uh, benzene ring. Okay. Your benzene ring NH C double bond O CH3. Okay, the NH2 has been replaced by NH3 double bond of CH3. Simple. Now we convert this using bromination CH3COH. Hmm. What do we get? Expect. Let's expect bromine in the para place and NHC double bond OCH3 as it is. This is organic product because it is organic protein chemistry. Now we will do hydrolysis and that gives our final product that is para bromo. Aniline, that's it. Para bromo aniline. I think my handling is a bit rubbish, but I think you can understand that. This is the benzene ring. We took aniline, we can we uh, reacted it using CH3COCl, which gives us benzene and NH3 double bond of CH3. Uh, we did bromination C and COCH3COH CH3, 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 by so we get that. Uh, bromine in the para place, we get NHC double bond of CH3 as it is, whereas bromine is shifted to the para place. Now we did hydrolysis so that this compound that gets shifted to NH2 that is aniline and bromine in the para place as it is. So it becomes para bromo aniline. I think it's clear. Let's go for the next reaction. That says conversion of benzamide to toline. Conversion of benzamide. Toline. How do we convert? First, take benzamide. Okay, we'll take benzamide. This is C double bond O and this is NH2. Now, what should we do that so that we get the final product toline? Let's do hydrolysis. Okay, we did hydrolysis. What do we get? Benzoic acid. Correct? Yes. Benzoic acid. On this we'll use N NaOH by CaO. What do we get? We get this benzene. Okay. To not get confused, this hydrogen. Hydrogen is always everywhere in this here, 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 here. Hydro hydrogen is everywhere. But our COH compound was here. So the next product which we get the compound, we'll be getting it here. So I'm writing hydrogen over here. Okay. Now if we do CH3Cl and anhydrous AlCl3. What do we get? We get our final product, but nothing that is toline. Yes, it's toline. We took benzamine, we did hydrolysis, we get benzoic acid. Benzoic acid on NaOH by CO gives us benzene. Benzene on CH3Cl by anhydrous AlCl3, we get our final product toline. Simple. Let's go for the next reaction. So the final reaction conversion that is conversion of aniline to benzyl alcohol. Conversion of aniline to benzyl alcohol. Uh, how do we do it man? This is aniline to benzyl alcohol. First take aniline. Simple. Benzene and H2 gives this is aniline, right? Now use HNO2 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. This is also called as any we can use this is also used as any 2 by HCl. Same 
this gives us benzene diazonium chloride N2 plus Cl minus this is benzene diazonium chloride okay use CoCN by HCN or KCN anything same this gives benzene and CN on the top now we use HCO plus so that this gives us a compound called as benzoic acid and on this benzoic acid if you use LIALH4 that is lithium aluminium hydride we get our final product yes CH2OH that is benzyl alcohol what did we do here we took aniline first we did uh, we used HNO2 in 0 to 5 degrees celsius we got benzene diazonium chloride on this benzene diazonium chloride we use CoCN by HCN KCN I think we got cyano cyanobenzene or benzene benzene nitrile on this benzene nitrile we use HCO plus I'm sorry HCO plus we get benzoic acid on benzoic acid we used lithium aluminium hydride which gives us benzyl alcohol so these are the nine conversions which are given in the NCRT textbook in 13.81. I hope you have understand, understood these reactions. If you do, if you did, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. This is Abiram signing off.